So, we back again, Ted Politics. And this video right here is going to be Jay Waller's advice to modern women. Um, I'm going to have a couple people get upset about a little bit of things they said. But it wouldn't be a good show without it. Let's get it. You know, in those situations, may I ask, so obviously that's really important, but how do you then, just to make it a little bit more rounded and a bit more like wholesome, what advice do you give to the women in terms of what do they have to build for themselves to prepare for a potentially eventuality or the occurrence of your husband passing away early? Maybe you've got two kids for him, one is three, one is one. What do you tell a woman that has just completely given herself to being a housewife and doesn't actually have skills or the abilities or knowledge to strive in the world because she just wanted to be a housewife and then what does that what happens to her i, I mean so there's a, a bunch of technical ways like life insurance but there's also the man you pick i gotta say this he just said life insurance i am a licensed life insurance producer so if you know interested in that way that he talking about of you know you know protecting yourself and your kids for the future I let you, boy. We do just that. I help my mama. I help my cousin. And I help my god brother. And I help my god brother mama. And I help my auntie. If you watching him, you inspired to go be a person that makes money. And if that's the case, get at you, boy. I'll leave a link in the description how you can schedule an appointment. We'll get on the call. Make it happen. But anyways, back to what he's saying. You know, women... A lot of their success in life is picking the right horse, hate to say. Mm. You better pick a good one. You yeah, know. but people get shot sometimes. I'm sorry, but that's the point number one. Pick somebody that's good. Pick a good person. Pick the right person to spend the rest of your life with or consider it. I found what I think is the perfect person. You know, she would think otherwise because she's so very humble and modest. Which that's what that's why that's what make her perfect because she's very humble and modest. But yeah, back to it. People get shot. I doubt that I'm gonna get shot in life. I'm no, not no, gonna no, be no, in that situation. No, I'm just general. saying in general, pick a man that's not gonna get fucking shot. Uh, you, you, under, you understand what I'm saying? Like it's not about him going off the war. He shouldn't have been in the damn neighborhood. Okay. Right. He shouldn't have been doing the shit he was doing. He shouldn't have been fucking with the people he's fucking with. Yes. So a woman, one of the most important things she can do in her life is pick the right partner. Of course. You know, you have Reduce to choose. The, that risk. Yeah, and and look, and you have a lot of risk in that, especially nowadays. Because you get to that 1% man, you pick him, and now you're dealing with promiscuity and all those other things, right? And that's a whole different subject. But what I'm saying is, is if a woman can find a man that is strong and she can look up to and she can trust and there's a real relationship there, she has no problem getting inside of her frame and then inside of his frame. Mm. And then all of a sudden, there's not a thought about, you know, whether or not, you know, there's femininity, um, feminism in the house. It's more like, I trust this man fully. And guess what makes him motivated more than anything in the world to take care of them? Is that mm -hmm. trust that she puts in him. Yeah. Because he takes it seriously and he becomes a hero in life and he wants nothing more than to create a life for that woman and those kids that would have been one tenth of what it would have been if he would not have come into that life. Mm -hmm. And that's what motivates men. It truly, truly is. And if you have a good woman that can accept that and accept you being the leader, you will kill for her. Yeah. And so that woman will have nothing to worry about because he'll do his duty as a man. And a real man would take care of his family, protect, provide. And a woman that supports him is nothing. I promise you, the happiest women in the world. Yeah. Can so, I? Oh, go on. Sorry, can yeah. I? Is that okay? I can ask them a question. I agree with that. I agree with that. Completely. Um. Let's just see some would questions. Would you guys want your wives? I don't know if you guys are married, but would you guys want your wives to work? I do. No. Fuck no. No. Why no. not? Well. He said, ideally, no. He said, fuck no. But let's listen. Listen, because why? I'd rather them raise the kids. My whole they rather them raise the kids. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. That don't mean men ain't qualified to raise no kids. Don't get that. Don't get it twisted. That don't mean men ain't qualified to raise kids. Because studies show that... Kids got a better chance with either both parents or just their daddy. I ain't, I ain't the person that made these statistics up. I ain't the fucking researcher. None of that. Go go find it. I guarantee you you'll find somebody saying that. I seen a white lady saying it. She said that.
kids raised in a single parent home with just the dad will do just as good as a kid raised by the, the dad and the mom. A kid only raised by the mom got a higher chance of going to prison, becoming a whore, and all this other stuff. Now that's I ain't I ain't, I ain't the one who this ain't me. This is what I got from people that study shit like this. You feel me? Now, but ideally, most men in their mind, the women supposed to take care of the kids. That's what everybody in their mind think. I for one. Can see it being either which way. It depends on the people. Because me and my girl got it set up where I'm taking care of the baby most of the time. Right now. And I say right now because she's still a baby baby. When my baby turn like one, two, I ain't going to be the one who take care of her solely no more. Because now she's becoming a woman. At like one, two. Yeah. Fuck you talking about. So now her mama got to be around her. So her how to potty train and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then I could come take back over at about five, six. You know what I'm saying? Because now she potty trained. She know how to use the bathroom on her own. All that good stuff. That's a whole nother story. Well, why I'm going to provide, I'm going to be the one bringing the bread home. I don't want her to be so you, I don't want to have to work out of necessity. That's a lot of pressure to mm. put on men that aren't able to earn salaries where they can feel. And I can honestly say right now, our situation is she working. I'm a life. I'm a licensed life insurance producer, but I just became a licensed life insurance producer. So with that being said, I ain't really bringing home the chicken right now. But my role is taking care of the baby, so that's what I do. Right now, the baby crying a little bit, but she see me making this video, so she handling it for me. And that's that's another thing. We're a team. She see I'm trying to get to it, but yeah, when she go to work, cause she go to work at three. She got to be the one at three. I'm going to have a baby. Taking care of her. All that good stuff. And I babysit my homegirl, baby. Her son. Sometimes when she go to work. So, yeah. But anyways. Pressure makes diamonds. Yeah. And that's not, hey, look. That's Darwinism. Yeah, that's that's the best thing guys, for the species. Do you guys ever think that maybe there might be, like she was speaking about, that 5%... 5% chance that you might get run over a car, you might get cancer or something. You know, well, ideally, I, I want to well, finish answering your question. She wants to pick a guy who, who is going to have the wherewithal, so if that situation, if that eventuality did occur, she would be looked after even in the uh, in the point of his demise. Um, well, I and I don't think you well. should live your life out of fear. Like, what if the worst case mm. scenario happens? And I think a lot of times as women, we kind of go into situations out of fear instead of thinking about like what good could happen. Is it fear or is it being realistic? I mean, what, what percent of husbands happen? like die young? What, what percent is it? Is it a high percentage? Yeah, it's not it's what are, even, even if, if you guys have a college degree, your chance of getting divorced is 10%. You should be more scared of that than your husband dying. Mm. I'll say another thing, too. You know how the, they say a lot of men are bombs and a lot of men are shit? If you only... If there was a society where only the men that truly produce and could truly take care of a family could reproduce, you would watch men's production skyrocket through the roof. Because, I hate to say it, Men get up out of bed every morning, whether they're a brick later or an inventor, or they're trying to make a rocket ship to the moon. It is in pursuit of women. Thank you. That is a driving force mm -hmm. of society. But it's just a mm. yin and yang. It, it's just a fact of the world. So a lot of women have babies with shit men. So you got to pick them. Like, make sure your picker's not broken. And then be in a <laughs> position and create a, a scenario and an error about yourself that tells the high-quality men that I am a quality woman. And I am worthy of you taking care of me fully and if you want to work work but it's not it shouldn't be because you have to work that's that's my problem with a woman working is that she gets forced into working because the man's not doing what he now how can i put it i'm gonna put it like that every woman can't be a housewife because certain businesses need women bro so don't let him get it fucked up. Certain businesses need women. And I ain't talking about just sex workers. I ain't talking about just script clubs and anything. I ain't even talking about nothing like that. I'm talking about most businesses need women. Any business where you got to talk to somebody at the front desk or talk to somebody on the phone or anything of that. Women, it, we got to have women at work. Because at the end of the day, beauty is needed in work business and workplaces, period. Because... You don't want to get on no customer service call and you talking to somebody. 
You know what I'm saying? Or you go to McDonald's and, hi, man, I'll take your order. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to talk to pretty people. You want to hear beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So, I, when he, when he, like he said, it's going to be the ones that don't want to work. If they don't want to work, then that's them. But the ones that do, thank you. Because we need y'all. We need women that want to work, dog. We don't need just a bunch of dudes doing everything. Because... Nobody want to see no fucking dude all the time. Like, I want to see some girls, man. Nobody want to see no dude all the time. Literally, everywhere I go, he doing this, that, that, everything, everything, everything. everything. What he committed to in the beginning, which is protecting and providing. If she gets bored, I would let her open up a little dumb store that sells like, <laughs> yeah. little trinkets or hair stuff that you know. Don't- and they finna be so upset now because when he said, I'll let her, oh, listen to this. No, exactly. Yeah, I, do think, I do think that just because the man is the provider, it doesn't mean the woman has to have zero skill. And what you just said, you said, I'll let her. That was, I think that's the wrong thing to say. So, You'll let her have a hair business. Wait, You're you might like sound like feminist. You know what, though? Yeah, when, a woman, when a woman is, like, crazy in love and there's true, <laughs> genuine desire, what she to. really wants to do is help build the kingdom. So, wait, you wait, 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 I have a question for you because you said you're a Christian, right? You don't believe in submitting to your husband? No, of course, but him saying so. Well, so yeah, have so a business. you would have to have, like. You don't believe in submitting to your husband's authority? I'm married. No, 50-50. Uh, then you're not, right, a, then so you're not a real Christian. Because yeah, I'm not a real Christian. My, no, my there's wife. a lot of fake Christians no, in the wait, church. Wait, 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 they don't, no, there's a lot of no. fake Christians in the church because you guys don't believe in mm. male authority. No, 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 because no, you guys need to understand what being a Christian means. Just because I said I'm a Christian doesn't mean I follow the Bible every, like, by word, by word. No, no, wait, wait, wait. No, there's such things as called being a lukewarm Christian. So you guys to be on Okay, so this is why Christianity is yeah, yeah so you? so you're a pick and choose Christian no, Christian. No, you're a, you're a, I'm a Christian when it benefits me. No, that's not what I'm that's saying. Exactly. Nothing, no. Can I also say something? And I think this is why divorce rates are skyrocketing because people don't. So, on that part, I get what the girl is trying to say. Pearl basically saying that, you know, in the Bible it says you're supposed to do it your husband to say regardless, right? Now, what the one in the black finger basically articulate to y'all is this. It says that they become one. So, if they become one, that means they work together. But, I think what the girl in the blue is trying to say is this. If a motherfucker being stupid and just trying to tell me to do stupid shit or make me do stupid shit then I ain't going for it I think that's what the deal was when it come down to her and when she was you know what I'm saying when she was getting that but I'm gonna let her speak don't understand what the true meaning of marriage is if you actually read your bible you would understand that marriage is a union between two people so two people can become one the same meaning, bible that what? Means people call meaning, meaning, John. meaning once you make it that? meaning once you're married once you make a decision you have to run it with your partner and your partner has to kind exactly. of well, you, you guys are talking about something dying you guys are talking about oh, what if the husband dies but what's far more likely to happen but is, is, is it, or what's far more likely to happen is that the woman divorced is it because we know that what is it 70 percent of divorces are, are are started by women 80. right 80 percent. sorry so um that's that is the eventuality that you yeah, know because men are happy as long as the woman's in the kitchen making them a sound no no, no, no it's, because we, it's because women get bored because the butterflies go and then they think i'll stop this i'll go off and you know mm. hold on sneaker i've got a question for you i'm not being funny would you be with a woman who earns more than you that would never happen. Exactly. This is, but that's the reality of certain situations. Like, do would it emasculate Those relationships. You? It's not about insecurity. Those relationships always fail. What is according to rich? Rich? That always happens. The woman needs to look up to her her man always. Yeah. In your in in your what that's what that's you prefer. That's just the truth of that's relationships. That's what you prefer. That's what you prefer because it's not every relationship. This is just female that, That's the fact. This female. Ma- he right. But I'm gonna put it to you like this. Tell me this though. What makes what makes a man that has a woman making more money than him any different? And please don't get mad when I say this though. Any different from a pimp? Cause technically that hoe the one making that money. She just giving it to him. So that's where it's like when when they get into this argument about the woman making more money. If my girl made five hundred thousand a year, 
me and my daughter will be chilling, making sure she come home to a clean house. Probably have a hot tub ready for her, rubbing her feet, all kind of stuff. We gonna be catering to her when she home, cause we got we got money and we got time. See, that's where people get things messed up at. People think that they just... Like, who the fuck do people think they is? That's the question. That's that's what people see. People be having their sales fucked up. They think that they just... Like, like, who the fuck is you? You feel what I'm saying? Like, I had to say that to myself. Like, who the fuck is you, bro? Like, because I used to feel like I ain't have to wash dishes and shit. And then I was like, who the fuck do I think I am? You know what I'm saying? Like... Who the fuck do I think I am? And I had to come back to the ground and like, bro, I can clean up. I can pick up some shit off the floor. I can sweep. You feel me? I can fold clothes and wash clothes. Like, who the fuck do I think I am? You get what I'm saying? That's the problem with people. They 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 got it fucked up. Like, who the fuck do people think they is? That's the problem. I can... My girl making five hundred thousand a year. I'm gonna be goddamn cleaning, man. What? I'm being the, the house gonna be spotless, feet gonna be getting rubbed, whatever you want, baby. Yup. Cause man, I ain't gotta do nothing. The fuck? I'm gonna cater to you. And then, of course, I know my girl. She gonna give me some money. Life insurance policies. Gonna try to find me a little business to start. Now I can start giving her some, um, you know what I'm saying? Be like, shit, man, you might be able to quit after a while. You're making 500000 a year. I think I might be making a million. You get what I'm saying? It's just how y'all go work it out, though. You feel me? But people got to get over themselves, bro, because people be having it fucked up. Like, who the fuck people think they is? Female nature. If you're... You're not or- a female, so you wouldn't know. Okay, I understand female. Ma- I understand female nature better than you. I have no, to in order you to don't. be successful. Y- you, no, you don't. Oh yeah, I do. what makes you qualified to speak so much on girls? Exactly. Personally, I don't think nothing would qualify him to speak on girls. Every girl gonna be different in some kind of way, shape, or form. But they all gonna be the same in one sense, in some kind of way, shape, or form. Either way it go. He know his stuff though. I ain't gonna put that past him. But they asking some good questions though. But they a little hurt right now. They a little triggered. Exactly. Do you have some okay, th- This is how female. It's not. A, don't. It's not therapy. It's female. I, mean, sure. I, mean, I, mean, I just want to know how how closely you are with females. Okay, because, let him let him know? finish his point. Sorry, what is your question? Because now you're you're vibrating with misandry. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I took it back. You gotta get rid of this TV so she can stop looking at herself. I love it. <laughs> I look really nice. I like my outfit. I like my yeah. hair. Look, I'm shining. I'm got red lipstick. I, I think the reality is a lot of men wouldn't be with a, a lot of men are always talking a certain way about a woman because she's not a high earner and because it it when like because she's not a high earner she's a lot of women put themselves in positions with certain mindsets that up, they want a man who is above them. Can you What's name up, one mama see where the woman is in charge and it works? I can't name a, a relationship <laughs> where a man is in charge and it works. Every single one that worked. Every single successful relationship ever, What's up? the man is in charge. I think well, it's just called the yeah, how you look at each other. Compliment each other, but the, but the husband is the That's not crazy, but. In your opinion. I'm, this I'm, is every successful relationship. This is how we are alive, is the man is taking lead. He's in charge of the household and then she's running it. That's how it works. It's common knowledge. Do you know what? I'll be honest. It's, it's like, very simple. Very, 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 biology. very few women would want to be with a man that's earning less than them. I wouldn't want to be with a man that. that's earning less than me because I feel like I'd have to wear the pants in the relationship. Exactly. What happens when financial situation? And see, that's what I'm saying. You got different, different strokes for different folks. All I know is nothing lasts forever. So, if, like I said, my woman making more, she gonna be giving me something to put into some investments and make something happen on my own. That way, if something go wrong with her or she don't wanna do that no more, we good. Period, point blank. At the end of the day, teamwork make the dream work. I look at it like this. Anything that I could have been doing as far as like on the level of like taking care of things if I had to do it by myself I'm gonna do it with my person in a sense you know what I'm saying meaning that we gonna help each other we's the team however we can help we gonna help 
Everybody gonna be different. Occur, I'm going to have to take the heavy load of that because I am the breadwinner of the family. Yeah, exactly. And what you said is not just about who pays for stuff. I mean, that's. And it ain't about who pays for stuff because the person, just because you making more money, don't mean you good at making decisions. You probably just got a good job. You lose that job, then what? See, people gotta stop getting, like, don't get full of yourself. It's important, but it's also about respect. Yeah. And, and as a, there it is. Respect. There it is. I think it was Justin said before, I mean, if respect, ultimately you can't have love without respect. And if she doesn't respect him, she's not gonna love him, really. Yeah. Women working is actually a madness for men now. Exactly. Yeah. Because men now need to work a lot more because women can get the same type of paying jobs as men. So most men that are working an average job now they need to work 10 times harder to be able to get a girl that works an but that's why job. they have this mentality They'll of don't suppress work. a woman and feel like okay if uh, suppress these women and make them think their only purpose is um, be smaller so i can look bigger i don't think it's about suppressing women though i, I think the, it's the mentality though it's I the think, um women are like i think you want to be a victim so no, I don't want to be yeah, a victim. Exactly. I don't want to be a victim. I'm not a victim. So the reality she wants to be a victim, and she no, also wants to be in charge. It's, it's like, like, it's like he's, having, he's having a normal conversation with you, and you called him a misogynist, or you said he's, he's vibrating. vibrating. Right, right, but, right, right, but, right, right, but, right, but, that, but yeah, I'm not going to take but, it back. Right, you, you don't need true. to, of course, because you're going to die on your hill. It's very, it's very obvious. obvious. You, you, absolutely, yeah, yeah, you, absolutely. You have a very clear. And I'm not the only person who feels like that. You have a very clear need to be right. Does anyone else vibrate with misogyny right now? Mm, no, you're no, the only no. one. You're, anyways, I'm not. That's gonna, what you said. You, you'll get. Yeah, I'm sorry that I feel the vibe that you are misogynist. And you said you weren't the only one, but you are. And I'm well, happy to be the only one. You've got to be more specific, though. You can't. You can't deal. throw an accusation at somebody. It's. It's like I know this isn't a court of law, but you can't just throw an accusation about against somebody and not substantiate it, other than by saying, "Well, this is what I feel." He's making it. He's moving like girls are stupid. That's why. No, he's and, just speaking and like girls and are jealous. It's another. It's another. It's, 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 it's because it's because you're acting. But it's kind of true, though. Being stupid. I'm not. Matter of fact, in the Bible, it said that God made women. What did it say? Indemnity? Indemnity? me Or something like that? To, uh, he made them to where they they just got attitudes with everybody, basically. Like, where they just always like, ugh, ugh. Like, <laughs> I'm for real. I'm for real. I forgot what it's called, though. But he, <laughs> he made them like that. Hold on. Matter of fact. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to look it up. I'm like, oh my god. It's called in in indemnity, I think. For real, hold on. I might look this shit up. Matter of fact, do I? Cause I got so many recents. Let me see if I got it in my recent. Yeah, I mean, you're, you've been saying nothing. I'm going to let y'all watch them while I find this. I think half the show. You talk no, about it without any... So it's, it's, when I post this content, guys, you see the substance that I've got. It's just because we're in the middle of the heat. People don't get what I'm trying so to you, say. you're going to edit fine. it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say what If I'm you saying. need an editor to make sense, <laughs> you don't make sense. What did I say that was wrong? 
You just didn't say anything I at simply, all. Do you, know you have no point of view on anything. Because I'm trying to fish out the information from you. My point of view is very simple. I don't have to agree You're with you. You're trying to fish out the information? So yes. is this an interrogation or a conversation? No, it's, like, just, it's a podcast. It's fun. But what I do is... I, exactly. The way you I keep looking you, at the TV and course, talking here, you're here for I, the entertainment value, but you're not no, really here to I'll get anywhere with the combo. Uh, let me tell you, so, do you know what? I'm a, I'm a teacher, yeah? And what I do is when people say certain things, I say things to make you kids. understand, <laughs> to make you understand that what you're saying doesn't quite make a lot of sense. Go deeper than that because when you go deeper, your arguments actually don't stand. You do act like girls are cheap, and you've tried to catch me out a million times. Yeah. I already know. It's, it's funny. Said, yeah, but he's on, he's on the opposite side of the argument you, though. You're never going to know about the female nature. You can't. Can I make a point? You can't, you can't look stupid if you don't say something stupid. I don't say anything Can I say stupid. something? I don't think he's making women look stupid. I think he's making you, you look stupid. No, not on your I was just banned on TikTok. And we are demonetized on a daily basis on this platform. So, basically, that's how that ended. Um, I don't know the word. I can't think of what the word is. But it's it's basically the word that where God basically made women just so like like they just like ugh, like get out of my face, leave me alone. Like after after the serpent trick Eve, he made women like that for real. I can't remember exactly what the word was though, but I know, I know, I know, cause I was like I'm gonna remember this, cause. <laughs> Cause that's cause I always try to watch yeah. stuff. Cause I always try to figure out why girls be acting like, uh, but it's cause they, cause, cause he made them like that. But when I find when I find that child, I'm gonna make the video and I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna show y'all, show y'all. But yeah, man, we out. Let me know what y'all like about that video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Yeah.